So here's a quick tutorial of our new washer dryer in the back of the trailer. So it's got a couple of features here. One is that it's got a handle on the left side, fills this left tub. The other feature is on the right side, fills that right tub. Now the left tub is where you wash things. So let's see what goes in there. So for right now, let's go ahead and put get that out of there. let's put a hand towel, a full size towel, another full size towel. Let's go ahead and put this in there, which is just a top sheet for a queen bed. Let's see how that looks. It's getting pretty full. And then let's put this in here. It's just a um, standard size pillowcase. Fill it up, have that on normal, so not set to drain, but set to normal or soft. All right. Now this thing's gonna fill up. We'll come back when it's done. Okay, while that's still filling up, we'll give you a quick tour of the plumbing. So from over here, plumbed into there, just did like a, a T joint. You can't see it that well, but there's a T right there. And also the same with the drain pipe in the back. Drain pipe comes around there. Water supply comes around there. Both of them lead underneath there. All right, looks like we're just in time. We're all filled up. Let's close it up. Turn that off. Turn this thing on. You see it's washing away. So that's a 15 minute cycle. We'll just let it keep washing, come back when it's done. Okay, I wound up putting a couple more shirts in there. And uh, you can see here the water is very dirty and brown looking. Looks like it has stopped. So now we're gonna go ahead and drain it out. We'll hit the drain cycle. So now it's draining rather quickly. All right, so it's mostly drained. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these out and toss them in the dryer part. Let's see what we can get in there. It's pretty small, but you know, you can fit a good amount. You have to do a few different loads. So we'll put that in there. All right, and then we'll get her started. First though, you want to use this thing, which is like a protector. So you just kind of smash it in there. Shut that, shut that. And we go ahead and we drain it. rattles for a bit. Come back when it's done. So you can see it kind of gets up to speed and quits rattling around so much. And it's going to go like that for a while. But since what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get it to where it's mostly done. Mostly out, but not dry dry. I'll turn it off and use this water here turn on the water because I want to rinse them turn that back off no draining for you so we'll let these rinse a little bit so rinse that out there we go so let's turn that water back off water off thing back in turn that back down this back on. Yep. Now sometimes, as you can see, it was trying to get itself going, but the way the weight was distributed in there, it couldn't get a good centrifugal force, so I had to pull everything out and just restuff it back in there. It has now stopped, so let's take out what we've got. Yeah, so it's definitely damp, but it can hang dry pretty darn easily. And this is a sheet, one sheet.